of college football news. So we'll talk about a former college football player in Mississippi set to get drafted at some point by the NFL. Matt Corral, as you know, the Ole Miss quarterback or former Ole Miss quarterback, as we talked about a couple days ago, seemingly falling on some mock drafts. A lot of people, Dane Brugler, for example, one of the most thorough draft analysts there is, doesn't mean he's 100%. He could be wrong about his evaluation, but has Matt Corral falling out of the first round? Todd McShay, I think, less thorough and researched as Dane Brugler, but still the guy that ESPN puts on your TV very often to talk draft, and he gets paid a lot of money to do it, can see Matt Corral falling out of the first round. Those are out there, and they're more common than they were, say, two months ago. But... Next week now is a huge week for the former Ole Miss quarterback. He is taking some visits, some top 30 visits, to a bunch of quarterback needy teams. All next week, he will be visiting the Panthers, the Eagles, the Steelers, the Saints, and the Falcons. All of those visits for Matt Corral happening next week. So we said his pro day was the biggest day of his evaluation career. This might be it now. Of course, you know, the next thing is always the most important thing. But a big, big week upcoming for Matt Corral. Kind of a final impression on these quarterback needy teams. And the Saints entering the fold here is rather interesting to me as well. I figured with signing Dalton, they wouldn't even be bothering. And I understand due diligence and stuff like that. But the fact that he's also going to be visiting the Saints, I found interesting. But anyway, Panthers, Eagles, Steelers, Saints, and Falcons. He's taking a visit to next week. Busy week and a big one for him. Yeah, I mean, he's running out of opportunities to to secure that first-round place, which is where I think he should go. Like I said, I think I said it a few times now, if I needed a quarterback, that's who I would look at uh, in this draft. And you're right that the Saints are interesting. I felt like the Saints would be out of the uh, the QB hunt as far as the draft goes. But at the same time, if you like Corral and you can get him, I don't know if the Saints would take him with one of those top two first-round picks they have, right? But if he's there in the second round, when the Saints pick, you've got to take him, in my opinion. The value is just too good. And then you've got somebody that if it does, let's say, you know, because you haven't committed to Winston. You haven't made a long-term commitment. No, two years. Right. So if it does, if, if this year he's just not good and you're saying, okay, we've got to move on from him, you've got Corral there. So we'll see how that goes. I think he's going to end up being a, a late first-round pick. I think teams get antsy, right? They want to get that quarterback. They, they want to get things going for the future. A team like the Steelers, the Seahawks, that have that late first round pick, they're going. They're going to take a Mac. They're going to want to take a Matt Corral late in the first round. I think. Somebody says, hopefully, they are paying for Matt's accommodations. Yeah, it, well, in the course. NFL, you get to do that above board. <laughs> there, there's no such thing as unofficial visits that are totally and definitely not paid for by the school because that would be against the rules. Right. Which, you know is a rule that they break often. No, in the yeah. NFL, it's above board. They, they get to cover all that. That's that's yeah. no problem at all. It, it won't cost him anything to be in those five different cities in seven days. It, it It's covered. But yeah, it's probably tough, like, not emotionally. I don't know how you describe it. But uh, on your fifth visit, you know, if the Falcons are last, how much energy do you got answering the same questions? Doing the same facility, especially tour. if a team has come out and said, "Like, look, if you're available here, we're taking you." I mean, and then you, you know, the, you know, the Falcons aren't taking him with what? What are they picking? Eighth, something like that. They're not taking him there. So if they come in, like, oh well, if you're there in the second round, and he's like, well, I already talked to the Steelers, and they said if I'm there in the first round, so you know, so what are we doing here? <laughs> Plus, you're the Falcons and you suck. Yeah. Which we'll see if they pick him. The Panthers seems early. Yeah, Panthers aren't taking him at six. I but cr- Matt Rule was really involved in their pro day for whatever that's worth. But So that means what that tells me is, and the Falcons could do the same thing, is would they be interested in trading back? Or early willing, second. Oh, well, I'm just saying, are they willing to – you have the six pick, right? Yeah. Somebody might be willing to come up there and there might be a player they want. And so can you trade back and stockpile a couple of picks? And then you're picking – all of a sudden you're picking 21-22. And now, now we could. 